This is Tommy Kendi, and you are listening to The BS Machine, episode number 92, here with uh, me, your, yours truly, Tommy Kendi, and uh, another episode of a uh, midweek reminder for you. Just a quick five, six or seven minute thing just to talk about, and what, um, what I'm covering today is something that I've actually been quite adverse to uh, for most of my life, which is conflict, and how to how to engage yourself in conflict. And I think it's a, it's a really big one for a lot of us because you can't really go through life without uh, landing in some type of conflict, can you? Well, if you can, then my God, can you please teach the, the rest of us? But, um, but yeah, so this whole idea of how do, you, how do you hold yourself when conflict arises? And it's a really tough one because when you're in conflict, there is so much emotion that's going on within you and usually what we want to do is we want to defend ourselves. or if you're the type of person that starts conflict then just fucking stop it because it's just not going to get you anywhere but when you're dealing with situations where you found yourself and you've landed in a disagreement in a conflict of some sort what is it that you do how, how do you travel through these um these moments of conflict and the number one thing that i would suggest which uh which i've been really working on myself and not even working on myself but i've been doing and it, it's it's really sort of work for me is when in conflict well yeah number one which is what i said before don't fucking start it because when you start conflict it's never ever going to end well for you it's always going to end in a way where you know you're going to feel like shit the other person's going to feel like shit and you're probably not going to get the result that you want but if you're on the receiving end of conflict and you found yourself in in a disagreement in an argument of some sort friends relationships family whatever it might be then the number one thing that i would suggest is learning how to listen learning how to stay fucking quiet and that actually means say nothing until you have something to say that's in line with peace, calm, clarity, love, connection. Because unless you're, you're speaking or you're coming from a place with the end result of having love and connection, which is ultimately what we all want, then you, you're just barking up the wrong tree. And what a lot of people try and do is within conflict, they try and say shit to defend themselves. And when you're defending yourself, what you're really doing is you're trying to defend your worth. Underneath the surface, you're trying to defend your worth in this life and, and, and your worth in, in your social environment and your worth in a relationship. So when you work out how to uh, exist in conflict, then what will happen is the conflict will either double, triple, quadruple, and it could go on for months and months on end, even years. You might even lose out on uh, some friendships just from one comment or one sentence or one tiny little disagreement, and you don't want that. We want to surround ourselves with people that... We, we love and we care for and we want to develop that love. We want to develop that connection. We want to go deeper into that connection and have experiences and conversations where we are, lo- we are being loved and we are loving and we are connecting and, and being connected to. Because uh, that's our God-given right and that's really what we're here to do in this life is, is to love and connect. But when you find yourself in a, a, in a conflict... The, the number one thing that I would suggest for you is to learn stillness and to learn how to stay fucking quiet. Because when you stay quiet, you're not adding fuel to the fire. So if you have nothing to say, if you feel like in, a, in, a, in an argument or in a conflict, you're saying things just to defend your stance or just to prove your, that you're right or prove that the other person is wrong, and keep saying shit that's that's just gonna you know add fuel to the fire just stop it, you're better off not to talk at all and when the other person says to you well what have you got something to say you know have you why aren't you talking <laughs> you know they get fucking pissed off because they're they're not they're not getting 
any fuel to, to drive off. They're not getting any uh, anything to, to build off because when someone's in conflict, they're, they're either frustrated, they're angry, whatever it might be, and they're looking for more things to to hit back on to, they're looking to for more things to to um to to bite into so they can go yes yeah, see i fucking told you i'm right and you're wrong so 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 the number one thing guys is to be able to sit and stay quiet find stillness within conflict immediately it will feel so uncomfortable because all you want to do and inside There'll be this voice that goes, no, you got to defend your fort. you got to defend your castle. You can't just stay quiet. If you don't say anything, you, no, no, no. You actually do have to stay quiet. You, and, and you stay quiet. You land in stillness. And you have to, in the midst of turmoil, in the midst of conflict, you have to find a way to go into your heart. And the way you go into your heart, that is the hardest part. You have to remind yourself that you, your natural state of being is love, connection, clarity, warmth, and, and, and feeling like you want to hug the fucking world. You know, that's, that's, your, that's your natural state of being. So until you can find that center and then speak from there, even when you're in conflict, you could literally stay quiet, say nothing until you've landed and once you've landed in that place and you're like, you know what, you could actually say this. You could say, I, I don't actually have anything to say right now that's going to add any or add any value to this conversation. I feel like whatever I'm about to say, it's just going to add more fuel to the fire. So is it okay with you if I just pull back for a little bit and just hold until I, I have something to say? Because ultimately... I want to love you. I want to connect with you. And I want to feel like we're doing this together. This is friendships, relationships, whatever it might be. And once you do that, it immediately takes away the fuel. It, it, it takes away the fuel to the fire and the fire starts to simmer down. And then you could literally just sit back and, and say to this person, do you know what? In all honesty... I want nothing more than to defend myself and to, to give you all the reasons why I believe that I'm right. But I just know that it's not going to give any, any additions to what we actually both want. So from my end, I just want to, I just want to say to you that in, in, in the end or after when it, this is done, I just want to feel like I'm loved and I want to love you and I want to connect and I want to be connected to you and so can we together find a way to get to that place and immediately it's such a different conversation it is so such a different conversation because you're not looking for you're not looking to defend your fucking castle that's all egoic that's all just this dumbass it's just not it, it's just not viable it's not going to get you any anything that um that that's going to give you any sort of good feels in the body so uh, you know th that's it you know guys just a quick reminder if you are in conflict learn how to shut the fuck up learn how to connect back into your heart and when you connect back into your heart speak from your heart and you can literally say the most obvious thing that's there which is i feel like I'm whatever I'm about to say is just adding fuel to the fire so until I've got something to say that's that's in line with what I truly want and what I know we both truly want which is love and connection I'm just going to step back a little bit or stay quiet and then once you have that you come back to the party and you say is there a way we can resolve this where it's in line with what we both want which is love connection and um and and moving forward together like the you know, like the friends we are or the, the, the loving relationship that we are or as the family we are, whatever it might be. Uh, so there you go, guys. Quick reminder, do with that with what you will. Uh, I've definitely been doing this for uh, for at least last 12 months and it's worked really well for me. I'm not saying I never get in conflict and I never defend, didn't ever defend my fort. I do. But every time I come back to my centre, my heart, and I speak from there, 
fuck, man, it's a whole different dynamic and it's a way different outcome. Love you, Guts. Have a great day.